do the bodice sloper today. Size eight, just like the skirt. And we're gonna do it in two parts. We're gonna do it the front and then the back. Um, because we're going to draft the bodice sloper in separate parts, um, unlike the skirt. The skirt was done front and back all together. This is going to be done front first and then back separately. Um, if you want to follow along with the, uh, oh great, um, instructions, I have uploaded them onto Blackboard. Uh, come on, you can do it. It looks like this. Okay, thank you. Um, and it is straight from your textbook. As you can see, chapter 3, page 40, it will begin. So if you want to follow along in your textbooks as well. And just like this skirt, so the instructions are made for if you are going to do this with ruler on paper. So we're going to alter the steps a little bit to make it more conducive for Optitex. Um, and we're going to start just as we did in the skirt with our full length and our full width. So we're going to create sort of a box shape that we're going to then further sculpt out into our um, uh, bodice sloper. Okay, and we're going to be working from our standard measurement chart just like we did from the skirt and this is also up on Blackboard in the handout section um, within course content. So you can find it there if you want to follow along with your own measurements um, or, you know, just follow along with me. Um, doesn't matter. We are going to all be doing a size 8, uh, so please take note. So the first thing that we have to do, um, like I said, is find the full length and the full width of our bodice sloper. So the full length is represented by A to B here, which is our full length. Now our full length measurement on our torso is represented by the total length between the high point shoulder and uh, going straight down to the waistline, okay? So high point shoulder, straight down to the waist. And that's the longest measurement that we're going to have for the bodice. Now the widest is our bust arc right here. Um, and we're adding a little bit of ease to each of these. We're adding an eighth an inch ease to our full length and a quarter inch ease to our bust arc. So if we pop on over here to the standard measurement chart, we can see that our full length is um, 17 and a half, I'm sorry, 17 and a quarter. Um, we add an uh, eighth of an inch to that and get 17 and three eighths. And uh, we're adding a quarter inch to our bust arc, which is nine and three quarters, so that'll round up to a nice even 10 inches. So we're going to start by creating that rectangle from which we're going to sculpt the piece out of by going to piece, new piece, create rectangular piece, and if you want to we can name it front bodice with a length of 17 and 3 eighths. Don't forget that decimal point in between the 17 and 3 eighths and a width of 10. Okay. Now we're definitely going to want to rotate this up. So I'm going to grab my rotate piece tool, keyboard shortcut R, or of course in rotation, the first one here. Click on any point, kind of give it a spin, but then hit 90 so you get a nice even sort of corner turn up, and then let's zoom in. So before we even begin anything else, I want to go over sort of what's happening already, how we're going to look at this piece. So we know where everything is going to be applied, even though it's very, very general and we don't really have a lot of detail yet to our sloper. But already, this is going to serve as our center front. This is serving as our waist down here. Over here is going to be our side seam. And up here, we're going to sculpt out our shoulder and neckline. So the next point we got to put in is our center front length. And our center front length is uh, the distance between our high point shoulder 
straight down to basically the neck. So it's showing, um, you know, our center length is center front length, uh, sorry, center front neck right here down to waist, whereas this is high point shoulder. So the difference between the two is showing what the neck drop is going to be, that neckline drop is going to be. And of course, since it's a sloper, we're just going to do a, you know, tightly fitting crew fit uh, neckline. So let's go and find what our center length should be. And do, 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 here it is, center length, 14 and a half. Now there's no ease added to this. And we're measuring from here up. So let me grab my add point on contour tool or keyboard shortcut O, hold down the alt key and make a point. Now I want it to be grading, so I'm going to make sure that this is clicked. And remember that we're measuring from the next point. So if we travel around the figure like this, this is the previous point that I hit before my X, and this is the next point. We can tell that too, just generally by the widths. So um, if we haven't forgotten the measurement by now, it was 14 and a half. And okay. Oop, not four, five. Okay. Now what I also want to do is I want to come in and find out um, sort of where the uh, low point shoulder is going to be. And this isn't exactly where it's going to be, but it's going to help us find that point. It's going to give us a little bit of a guideline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold down the Alt key. And um, remember that I have to look up the across shoulder <laughs> measurement. <laughs> across shoulder, front. Now we're not adding uh, any ease to this. In fact, what we're doing is we're taking away an eighth of an inch. So this seven and five eighths is going to become seven and a half, okay? So that's my across shoulder, and that signifies my center uh, uh, front, sort of the very center front, um, all the way across to my low point shoulder, okay? So I'm measuring from my next point again, and it was seven and a half, and a grading point, good, and I say okay, okay. Now what I want to do is I would like to, there's a couple ways to do this, we can draft out guidelines, but I'm just going to drag out guidelines to sit here and to sit here because these are going to be representative of, of really guideline points and it's a little faster and easier just to use the guideline function. And again with the arrow tool just click on the ruler drag out those guidelines to sit here and here. Okay now that's basically the first part the first section of figure one so let's move on to figure two where we have to do the shoulder slope. So let's first find out what the shoulder slope is Shoulder slope is 17 and 3 eighths inch. And we're going to add an eighth of an inch east to that, so that'll be a nice 17 and a half inches. And what we want is the shoulder slope represents the measurement that comes from our center front waist point to our low point shoulder. So this is going to be our actual low point shoulder. Now it shouldn't go past here because this is the guideline for our low point shoulder. So what I want to do and you know, if you're going to do this on paper, you would set your uh, you know point of your uh, ruler here, and then sort of rotate it, sort of spin it, um, uh, tacking it down here until you get a good measurement and intersection with this line. But we're not doing that because this is um, you know not a physical piece of paper. We are going to use the draft tool, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here because we're going to start at our center front waist point, so click there, and I'm going to drag this out, and I'm going to go somewhere here, you know, somewhere up here on this line, and hit the Alt key. Now I'm going to purposely kind of do it maybe a little bit wrong, so we can show you how to line it up, or I can show you how to line it up. So I'm going to hold the Alt key and click, okay? Now I want to measure from my last point, right, from down here, because this is the last one I clicked, and I'm concerned about this length um, and its distance from, of course, this point. 
Now you see that my overall length here is too short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and type in what I want it to be, which is that 17 and a half in inches that we talked about. Now if you see what happened here is it extended the point out, and the X is where the point is going to go, but it's not on this line anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to play with the degrees to see what is going to be right on that line. Okay, it's a little off to the right. That's pretty close. That's, that looks pretty perfect right there. That X is right on that guideline. So I have my full length that I need it to be, and also I need it to, uh, it's with this angle, it is hitting the line that I want it to. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to right click finish drafting. Okay, so there is going to be my drafting, uh, my sorry, my um, low point shoulder. And from here I can go and square in the rest. I can uh, go and put in my shoulder length. Now the shoulder length is the distance from low point shoulder to high point shoulder. So it's basically how long your se uh, shoulder seam is going to be. So let's find it. Shoulder length, 5 and 3 sixteenths. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue from here. And I didn't even have to finish drafting. I actually could have done this all in one go. And I'm going to hit Alt here. And we're going to do it the same way. So I'm going to go to the same measurement and measure from last point, which is here where I clicked. I'm going to put in the full length that I want. And it kicked it up a little bit. So let's kick it down a little bit more. There we go. That's perfect. So good, it's asking me if I want to snap the point onto there. And sure, why not? Let's say yes. Okay. Now I am done. Unless I want to, oh no, one more thing I can do straight from here. What I want to do is um, create a guideline all the way down to this guideline here. And this is going to help me create my um, neck curve, my neckline. Now, there's no specific measurement for this. All it needs to do is be square from this line and reach this line. So let's go ahead and hold down the Alt key and click. And I want to do from last point and the fact that I snapped it to here, maybe I shouldn't have snapped it, um, is making a little bit of an issue with my angles here, because I should be able to put in 90, so maybe I shouldn't have snapped it. No matter. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click, I'm going to finish drafting, and then we're going to have that. Now what I'm going to do uh, if you did click it, or again, this is another little way just to um, be able to check your square angles, especially if you're unsure or a little perplexed by your measurement box. What I'm going to do is create a rectangular piece, just a little small one, and use its angles to help me create a close enough squared off angle. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to bring it up here, and I'm going to zoom in real close on this area. There we go. I'm going to rotate my little square around so it lines up nicely with that shoulder seam line that I just made. Almost, not quite. going to move it into place here, 
Again, not so much so I, when I craft it, I run into it. But this is going to give me a nice square angle to work from. So it might be a little bit better, especially for you guys that like things a little bit more visual. It's definitely better. So we're going to click there and then bring it down. And I just want to keep those two lines parallel. So this line and the green line that I'm making, I want to keep them parallel. And that way I know I am getting that nice squared angle. And then I don't need to hold down Alt because I'm again just sort of doing this by sight. And then I'm done. I just need to right click and finish drafting. Okay. Now let's move our little square off. Oops. In case we need it. I'm not going to delete it yet, but I will remember to delete it afterwards. So we have a nice squared angle here. We have our shoulder seam. And we have um, what is going to become our uh, neckline. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a few more points of measurement in. And uh, these are going to be a lot easier than what we just did. So you can take a little bit of a breather. Um, they're just going to be kind of straight lines, you know, more point placements and things like that. So what I want to do is I want to find um, my, uh, basically where my bust line is going to be. So what I'm going to do is first um, uh, find where my bust line is. And my bust line is going to be one half of the distance from my, uh, wait, hold on, should be bust height, where is it? Oh no, bust depth, I'm sorry, I forgot they do bust depth instead of bust height. It's two different measurements and I'll tell you about both of them. So our bust depth is going to be measured along this line. And let's find out what it is. We're going to add, no, nope, we're not going to add any ease to it. So let's find out what it is. So the bust depth is pretty much from low point shoulder to the apex, which is one uh, method of measuring, I, I guess what you could say bust height. Um, uh, I'm a little bit more used to measuring bust height, which is simply uh, a straight line from the waist up to the apex but they do it with a bust depth, which is measured along the shoulder slope line. And instead of going from the low point shoulder all the way to the center front waist, it goes to the apex. So we're just gonna do that. And it is nine and 16 inch inches, nine and uh, five sixteenth inches, bust depth. So what I'm gonna do grab my drafting tool and uh, go straight from my low point shoulder here, click it, and hold the Alt key, and go from my last point and type in that overall measurement that I want. That it would be 9 and 5 sixteenths. And uh, we shouldn't have to mess with the angle if I did it right on there. So whenever it, it shortens or expands, depending on what you put here, it'll follow along the, lo the angle that you have. So that shouldn't be necessary. So there's nine, uh, 9 and 5 sixteenths. Great. And all I have to do is hit OK. Um, sure. Well, that got me into trouble before, but I think it should be OK. Right click, finish drafting. OK. So this is going to represent our bust line. I'm just, I'm just, we're going to put in a line here anyways, but I just want to drag a, a guideline down to show you where our bust is right now. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put in what's called the bust span. Now the bust span is measuring from apex to apex. 
So this is a sort of half measurement. So let's find out what it is. We're going to add a quarter inch to it. Do, 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 bus span. Right here, three and three quarters. And we're adding a quarter inch to that, so it rounds up to a nice four inches. We're getting a lot of nice rounded up numbers. I like when that happens. So what I'm going to do is, uh, what I, to measure this bus span is I want a line coming from here to go along this line, and I want it to be that nice four inches. So we're going to grab our draft tool, and I'm just going to, since I already have my guideline in place, it's going to make it easier. So I just want to zoom in to make sure that I am going to be working right on it. And right at that intersection from center front and bus line, I'm going to click and yes, sure. And then I'm going to bring it in. I know it's probably going to come a little bit past this one, but I want to make sure it clicks right on that guideline. Okay. And again, I want to do it from last point. Oh, look how good I clicked. Oh my goodness. This is a once in a lifetime. Um, it was a perfect click. It, I wanted it to be four inches. It's four inches. Um, it's perfectly straight. Um, hmm, how about it? Right click, finish drafting. Okay. Now we're going to do uh, what's called the across chest. Um, now what we want to do is we want to find the midpoint between this point, and let me zoom out, and our um, front neck point here. So the midpoint between our bust and our neck is our uh, sort of a cross chest. It's going to be the uh, uh, measurement point for our across chest. Um, so let's find it. And again, what we can do is we can put a point on contour to find that point, and we can use our proportionate values. So as so long as this is grading and this is grading, if I hold Alt, I can go ahead and just proportionately 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and we'll eyeball it. Okay, yep, that looks even. These numbers should be even. Um, so it's 50% up, 50% down, so that's looking good. Okay. Oop, did I forget to grade it? I did forget to grade it. Oops. So we're going to right click it, go to attributes, and just click on that grading. Okay. Now what we want to do is from this point, we're going to measure out um, our across chest measurement. So let's figure out what it is. We're also going to add a quarter inch to it. Do, 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 across chest. That is six and five eighths plus a quarter inch, which is two eighths, gives us six and seven eighths. Okay, that's going to be our cross chest measurement. So let's grab our draft tool, click on that point, and measure in. And it should be a little bit short of this. Let's see. Okay, I don't want any change up or down, so I'm going to move and change this to zero because I want this perfectly squared out. And I want all my measurement in here. I was pretty close. There it is, my six and seven eighths. And I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm also going to right click and finish drafting. Okay, so there's our cross chest measurement and it gives us the opportunity to go ahead and drag out one more guideline. And I'm going to snap it right there to two. This is coming off of my three. Just want to double check. It looks like maybe I'm seeing things. Nope, it's going right through there. Okay, my bad. I was seeing things. So that is uh, wrapping up figure two, and um, really it gives us all the measurements we need to take to, 
really draft most of our uh, bodice right now, except for the waist and the side seam. Um, but we're doing a pretty good job. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on. Oh, no, there's one more step here that I forgot, sorry. We want to put our dart placement. This is an easy thing to do. So what we're going to do is, um, if you remember the dart placement, should be the same as in the skirt, um, because of course we want our darts to line up from the skirt and the, and the bodice. So I believe it's uh, three and one eighths, if I'm remembering correctly. Yep, there we go, no ease added to it. And we're just gonna go ahead and put that point in right here. So let's zoom in. So in from the center front, right, our dart placement is how far from the center front or center bar back is our dart placement. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my point on contour tool and do do do. And remember, was this my previous or my next? Correct, it's my previous. There we go, make it grading. Now, just like in the skirt where we had to pump up, bump up those uh, side seam hit, uh, waist points, we're gonna have to bump this down just a little bit. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to grab my draft tool and start here, and I want to square this down 3 sixteenths of an inch. So again, it's finally got the idea that I like to measure from last point. I don't want a um, horizontal difference, so let's make sure this is zero, and let's put all of our distance here in negative 3 sixteenths. Why is it going up? I want you to go down. Oh, I know why. Um, if it's just a fraction, you do not need to put a um, point in. Uh, zero point, or negative zero point three sixteenths is a different equation. Uh, so just negative three sixteenths is just fine. Okay, looking good. Now what I'm gonna do, I hope that didn't point there. Anyways, I can just delete that point if it did. Uh, straight click and never hurt anybody. Um, I'm going to connect it to my center front waist point. So they're going to click there, right click, finish drafting. And I did, I made uh, a mistake and I added a point here, just clicking wildly. So I'm just going to click on it, right click and delete it. There we go. And that is what you should have done. So just go straight to right here. Okay. And we will go ahead and um, build that out just like we did uh, with the skirt. So I'm going to grab my build piece tool right up here, keyboard shortcut B. Click in that area, right click, finish drafting. And again, now what I'm going to do is join this piece together. So I'm going to use my join piece tool, keyboard shortcut J, or this one right up here. And I'm going to click here, look for the green lines to match up. They're not matching up the way I want, so I'm going to change direction. Oop, that is what I want. So we'll say OK. Now I hope that didn't move all my... Yes, it did. So. We might have to go ahead and adjust our guidelines a little bit. So let me zoom all and adjust my guidelines back to where they were. These are fine, looks like I just scooted it down. So it looks like just my horizontal guidelines need a bit of touching up. Okay, now we really are done with that section. <laughs> And almost done with the front bodice. I know this is, it's a little bit more complex than the skirt, um, but do remember that this is only gonna be two videos this week. I'm not doing the third one because I wanna do the entire front and then entire back. So they're a little bit longer, but um, all in all, it's, it's, it's not too much worse. Okay, so um, let's move on to figure three in the steps and take a look at what um, it is asking us to do. So uh, the first thing we want to do is 
find the new strap length, and that is going to go from our high point shoulder down to what is standing in as our, our uh, waist point now. It's going to give us um, point N on, if you're following along in the direction. So let's find that measurement, and we're going to add eight, an eighth of an inch to it. So our new strap. Kind of an oddly named measurement, but new strap. Okay, so that is 17 and uh, 3 eighths, and we're going to add an eighth so we get a nice, lovely 17 and a half inches. All these lovely numbers rounding up. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on just the same way as I did before with. Uh, these two measurements. So I'm going to grab my draft tool. I'm going to start here at high point shoulder and I'm going to move down and I want it to sit on this line. So I'm going to hold my alt key and again this is just my best guess and I'm going to measure from last point and make sure that my overall measurement is accurate. Okay, so it's a little bit off so I want to scoot it in so again, let's mess with, oh, that's pretty good, our angles, our degrees of angle, okay, and let's right click and finish drafting. So there we go. Now I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here, just to make sure that it is sitting on that line because I'm kind of zoomed out. Okay, it's a little bit away. Now when this happens, um, since the distance is so small, it's okay to just grab your move point tool, keyboard shortcut M, and just adjust it. Okay, you're not really hurting anything, you're not hurting that overall length, and again, this is only for small adjustments. If it's a large adjustment, you might want to go back and again get it a little bit closer with the X before you set it down. But just for a minor adjustment, that's perfectly fine. Okay, now we want to find um, the side length, and this is going to start to give us uh, a bit of a length and shape to our side seam. Um, and the side length, of course, is, is pretty much your armpit uh, to your waist, so your side seam length. Uh, so let's find it. Side length, and we are not adding any ease to it. So that is side length here, eight and a quarter, yep. And we're going to measure up from this point here. Now, I want to make sure that I am measuring from this point along this contour, um, which might give me a little bit of an issue. So I'm just to be sure, just to be sure that I have something to measure on, I'm going to add a point here. Okay, that should have worked. Um, and now uh, I'm going to measure up that eight and a quarter inches to give me my armpit point. Okay, I want it to be a grading point. And this should be my previous point. Doo -doo -doo. eight and a quarter. Okay. Now what I'm also going to do is just because I'm a, a still a little bit concerned, I want to double check with my measurement. If you're ever unsure about what you just did, it's always good to use your measure tool, which is a click and drag sort of straight line measurement. And good thing I did because look, it's not long enough. It was measuring from here and not from here. So, what I want to do is I'm going to delete this point and I'm going to zoom in here. And I'm going to do that point again. Now that, oh, maybe it wasn't grading. Ha ha ha, that was my issue. I made a point that was not grading. And remember, we can only measure from grading points. So that makes sense. 
So let's do it again. Okay, double check. Perfect. Okay. Always worth a double check, especially if you're a little bit concerned about where it's hitting. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to kick out our side seam because our side seam is actually going to come he out here a little bit. And what we want to do is we want to measure out from N to create our final sort of side seam waist point. So I'm going to do that with my draft tool and I'm going to start here. And I'm going to draft all the way out, hold down my Alt key, and make sure that this is a nice one and a quarter inches. Of course negative because we're moving left. And I don't want any difference up or down. Now what I can do is I can go straight up to the arm point, uh, point, armpit point that we just made and click. Okay, now that's all the drafting I need to do right now, so I'm going to finish drafting. And what I would like to do is do one more line that is going to take me, let me zoom in a little bit on this bottom part so we can see it a little bit better. from this bottom point here up to here. And I want to start here, because remember Optitex likes it when you draft lines from the sort of solid pattern piece a lot more than when you start from sort of extraneous lines. So I want to start here and click right here. And then right click, finish drafting. Okay? So um, now we have basically everything that we need except for some minor adjustments but we can really start to um, shape our pattern piece so let's do it we're in the home stretch guys don't worry first I want to do the neckline necklines easy peasy what I want to do is I want to curve this neckline out and I want to kind of use this and have it kind of curve and then kind of curve through here. So these are my guidelines, right? I don't want it to really go past here. I want to keep this nice squared angle and I want to keep this squared angle. But I'm going to kind of curve it right in the middle here. Okay? So um, if you're bold, you can go straight to scissors. If not, you can you draft the curve first if you want. This is a little bit more of a simple one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be bold, and I'm gonna go straight to cutting. So I'm gonna start here, cut, and again you don't need measurements here because you're gonna just kind of eyeball it. And it's really not too difficult to adjust this after you've cut. So again, if you do want to go straight to cutting, um, it, you'll be probably be pretty fine doing it. But I'm gonna go down a fair amount here, cut and then start with a curve point here. I'm probably going to go back and curve that other point. Then I'm going to come down here and cut it here. And again, you can always go back because we're just going to delete this part away and adjust this. So you can use your move point tool to adjust this if you don't like it. What I am going to do is I'm going to make this point a curve point. And it, there's no need for it to be grading. Now, I can also get rid of this little line because it's not really doing anything for us anymore. It was there to help us create this curve, and that's about it. Now that it's done, we don't need it. Okay. Now, let's zoom out again so we get a nice picture. I can go ahead and what I can do is I can cut the armhole 
Now, I want to maybe do a little bit of a guideline here because I do want a nice squared angle. So I am going to get to use my little piece again. And I just want to draw in a line as a guideline that's going to be uh, give me a nice square armpit. So I'm going to line these two guys up nice and parallel. Like so. Grab my draft tool. Start from here and then keep these guys just aligned. Now I hope Okay, well, I, I'm doing it from this piece and not from this piece, which is where I want it to be. So let me just get out of here really quick, and I'm going to zoom in even further so I know exactly what I'm doing. Just a little ways, doesn't need to be too far, maybe an inch. And again, it's going to be just a guideline to help us keep that. armhole, uh, armpit point nice and square. Okay, I should be done with this little guy, but just in case, oops. Come on, little guy. Come on. There we go. Okay, so um, I'm gonna now zoom into my armhole because we can cut it. And I'm going to do this whole area because we can cut the shoulder seam at, while we're at it. So I am going to draw this curve first because this curve um, can be a little tricky. But essentially what we wanted to do is we're going to start here and we're going to curve down to this point and then we're going to